perfect, Mr. Arnold. Okay, that's Love it. Please. Thank you. Right. Time to go. Thank you, Lydia. Now you lot, be good and don't drive Nanny Betts around the bend. Oh, the bear! Bye, Nanny Betts. Come home safely. Just one more, just one more. Oh, Mr. Arnold, one Have more. you remembered everything, Dad? Ah, now, uh, now let me see. Did I remember my compass? Yes. yes. The map? Yes. The mobile phone? Yes. yes. The way to get there? Dad, stop teasing. <laughs> oh, oh, that's it, of course. It's all coming back to me now. I'm sailing round the world. Thank you. Excuse me. Thanks a lot. Oh. Charlotte Clancy, I presume. Yeah, sorry I'm late. It. Yes, um, something the matter? It's not very big, is it? You can always take the QE2 if you prefer. My turn. No, it's not. You did it last time. I didn't. Let him do it, Laura. But Nanny B. Oh, come on, Laura. Be a good girl. You can have the next turn. Go on then, baby. But it's my turn tomorrow. When I go up, I'm going to sail around the world with Dad. So am I. He wouldn't take you. He said women are bad luck on boats. He was only joking, silly. Well, he didn't want to take that photographer anyway. How about a cup of tea, Charlie? That is, how about you making it? I'm busy. Any bits? She just fell over. Glass has hit rock bottom. That's not good? No. I reckon that typhoon to the north has changed course. It'll be honest in a few hours. You said it would miss us. Okay, so I was wrong. Hey, don't worry. I'll get all the canvas off, we'll just ride it out. How may I help you? Peach. Ah, to whom am I speaking? You are speaking to Dwight T. Peach III, editor of Scoop Magazine. Who are you, buddy? Fogo. What? Fogo. What is this, a weather report or something? I'm Lord Fogo, president of the Explorers Club. The Explorers Club? Well, what can I do for you, Lordy? I have an urgent message for Thaddeus Arnold. Uh, Arnold's not allowed to talk to anybody but us, Scoop Magazine. It's in his contract. I know. That's why I'm calling you. His old nanny's died. Yeah? And his children are being shunted off to their aunt or uncle. So? I know Thaddeus can't stand that pair. They're a bad lot. You better let him know. You want me to interrupt his world record attempt to tell him that some old lady died? It's very important. His children are at risk. And so is the money that my magazine is putting up for this world record attempt, buddy. Just give him the message, pal. I will. Just as soon as he calls back. Right now, he's a little busy in the middle of a typhoon. Typhoon? Stop 
Cooper, she's still going too fast. We're slow down by trading warps. Listen, as soon as you get out there, you clip your lifeline to the push pin. That way, whatever happens, you'll always be attached to the boat, OK? Right. Right. Let's go. stay behind to look after her, instead of charging off round the world on one of his stupid adventures. Now it's left to us to pick up the pieces. Yes, well, as soon as Daddy gets back... How many times have I got to tell you? He's not coming back. His boat capsized in the middle of the ocean. End of story. Henry! I don't care what you say, Uncle Henry. We all believe he's still alive. Laura has a feeling about these things, so there! Don't you point your chin at me, young man. While you're with us, you do as you're told. Now get in that car. The sooner we're back at the farm, the better. But, Uncle Henry, surely we're going to Nanny Betts' funeral. Well, what for? She's dead, isn't she? What do we want with all that mumbo-jumbo? Henry! It's all right, Laura. Of course we're going to Nanny Betts' funeral. Where's that boy gone now? Will you get back in the car? That's Dad's favourite. We'd look after it. I know. I'm going to look after it for him. We're here, Laura. Just until Dad gets back. But what about peepholes? Uncle Henry's selling it. Not for ages. What's that? What? Where? Thought I saw a boy. Never mind, we'd best be getting back. Come on. You know how Aunt Harriet is about us doing chores. She treats us like slaves. Well? Well, I've been all around the island and there's no sign of life. Great. That's what I really wanted to hear. But I have found a source of fresh water. Big deal. Yeah, well, you may not realise it, Charlie, but that's a very big deal. At least we won't die of thirst. And there's fish in the sea. We've got some tools, even some flares. So if I were you, I'd show a little gratitude. Gratitude? You expect me to be grateful to some cook who nearly drowns me and then maroons me on a deserted island? That is, there are thousands of islands all over this ocean with people living on them. But you, you have to choose one with no people at all. Prince, go away, you bad dog! I'll have your guts for garters. Hello, Prince. You want me to rub your tummy again? Get that dog out of here! I've told you before he's not to come into the house. He just wants a bit of love. He's a farm dog, not a pet. Out! <laughs> right, that's it. Clean the mess up and get to your room. Prince? Prince? Where are you, you bad dog? Come here when I call you. 
my hands on that dog, he'll be sorry. Have you no idea of where we are? Sorry, Charlie, old girl. Afraid not. How many times do I have to tell you, don't call me Charlie? That's for my friends. To you, I'm Charlotte. Got it? Fine. Anyway, the point is that typhoon drove us hundreds of miles off course, and as I didn't get a sun fix the previous day... But you did get off a distress call. Uh, no. Afraid the electrics had packed up by that stage. Didn't tell you, cos, um, thought you'd only worry. Don't patronise me. You don't know where we are, and neither does anyone else. We could be stuck here for years. I couldn't help knocking the bucket of water over. I really couldn't. Hey, it wasn't your fault, Laura. It was an accident. I know. But now we've all had to go to bed with any supper. It looked awful anyway. All fat and greasy. Aunt Harriet's meals are always like that. I hate this place, and I hate them. I'd rather go live in a tent than live here. Laura. Piggy. There's a boy out there. I wonder who he is. I don't know, but he certainly seems interested in us. That's Uncle Henry. <gasps> Come on, we better get to bed. Well, that's a good smell. We're having cold meat tonight. That was for the children. Only I sent them to bed without. Why? What have they done now? It's that Laura. You only have to look at her and she bursts into tears. This time, she deliberately knocked a bucket of water all over the kitchen floor. Oh, she's a right little madam, that one. Well, I put it down to your brother Thaddeus. He always was too soft on him. Yes, well, they're going to have to learn to live in the real world now. How'd you go at the solicitors? <sighs> Quite well. We get the court to issue a certificate presuming Thaddeus dead. When that's done, we become the children's legal guardians, which means we can sell their house and use whatever money is in Thaddeus's bank account. That means we can buy old Luke's farm. Yes. I've already had a word with the bank. Wonderful. What a good day's work. Wait a bit. What about that boy? What boy? Old Luke's grandson, Jack. What's going to happen to him? Oh, we couldn't care less. None to do with us, as Luke's concerned. I suppose. Oh. The only thing that can upset the apple cart now is for Thaddeus to walk through that door. No. That brother of yours has stuck his neck out once too often. So it's a deal then, Luke. Aye. And here's my hand on it. <laughs> I reckon we're both happy men. <laughs> well, I certainly am. <laughs> come on, Grumpy, come on. <laughs> this to you. Uncle Henry. I hate him. I don't want to stay here anymore. Oh, come on. If Aunt Harriet and Uncle Henry hadn't taken us in, we'd be in some children's home by now. Dad's alive. I've seen him in my dreams. He'll come back and take us home soon. Not if they sell your house, he won't. Who are you? Jack, your uncle's going to sell your house to buy my granddad's farm. <laughs> How do you know? I heard them. They shook hands on it. Where will you go then? Off on my own. I've got a secret place. Really? I wish we could come. It'd be too tough for you. No, it wouldn't. We've done an awful lot of camping. Please, can we come? Mmm. Thank 
thanks, Aunt Harriet. You kids been talking to that boy, Jack? Yes, this afternoon. You keep away from him. He's a wild one. When old Luke sells up next door, he's going to put him in a home. Best place for him, I reckon. Who's going to buy Luke's farm then, Uncle Henry? Well, who do you think? Me, of course. I will have a tidy bit of land then. How's that new dog coming on, Henry? Don't judge. Couldn't ask for better. Understands every call I make. Sometimes I think he can read my mind. Whereas that Prince? Dog's worse than bone I look. I like Prince. Oh, well, that's a pity, because you won't be seeing him no more. Why? Because I'm putting him down, that's why. No! Uncle, you can't do that. Oh, can't I now? You listen to me, young miss. Animals on farms are either here to provide food or to work. Now, I'm not wasting money buying food for a dog that won't work. So tonight, I'm getting rid of him. Henry? Well, it's time these kids realize that we're living on a farm and not in some sort of fancy pet shop. How can you do that, Prince? I hate you. Yes, and I hate you too. I think you're horrible, Uncle. <laughs> You know, I think you enjoy upsetting those children. Ah, too soft by half. And you don't help. When they do wrong, I discipline them. But I don't go out of my way to upset them the way you do. I reckon it's just as well we didn't have children. They'd have ended up as soft as this lot. Prince! Prince, oh boy! He's got to be on the farm somewhere. Why don't we look in the barn? Jack. Okay. So, he got away, did he? Well, good riddance to bad rubbish. Our secret island. Wow! Does anyone ever go there? No, never. That's why it's the perfect place to hide. So, when can you go? Hold on a minute, Jack. I think I'd like some say in this. OK, go ahead. Well, food, yes, food. We'll need to take some food with us. And food that keeps. I was just about to say that. And we'll take a bit at a time and hide it away. And we'll need candles and matches. And blankets. And dog biscuits. Yeah. Yes, well, when we get back, we'll make a list. What about you, Jack? I've had my stuff collected up for ages. So when do we take off? Well, how about tomorrow? They always go out on a Saturday evening. We'll meet up here on Saturday at 7. Right. This is a real adventure, isn't it? Just like the ones Daddy had. Hey, you he said he's still alive, remember? I bet he'll be really proud of us having an adventure of our own. Ta -da. OK, now it's your turn. Hey, I'm the official photographer. I'm supposed to be taking shots of you. Do you know a gender point? Oh, very funny. Things have changed, Charlotte. The story is now about a man and a woman marooned on a deserted island. I think this could be a bestseller. Well, it certainly would be on this island. Two copies would have a total sellout. Who are you going to get to print it? A friendly octopus? Once in your life, get your head out of the clouds, Thaddeus. a bit. Thank you for 
supper, Aunt Harriet. It was really lovely. <sighs> oh, dear. Come on, you two. Early night. Are you going anywhere nice this evening, Aunt Harriet? No, we're not. We're staying in. Get away with it. I've got to try. It's nearly half past seven. Peggy, come here. I want to speak to you. Oh no, she's found out. You sound Harry. There's something wrong. There certainly is. I've just looked in my larder and there are a lot of things missing. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, indeed. Candles, matches, biscuits, tins of meat, sardines, baked beans, potatoes, onions, carrots. I know it wasn't you, because I check your room every day. We are your guardians, after all. How thoughtful of you, Aunt. I reckon there's only one person it can be. That boy, Jack. He's always skulking round here. Have you ever let him in? No, Aunt Harriet. Well, he got in somehow. Next time you see him, you tell him I'll be having the police on to him. Yes, Aunt Harriet. Aren't you ready yet? I thought she was going to bed. She is. I'll get my coat. I thought you were staying in tonight. So? We changed our minds. Don't need your permission for that, do we? Harriet! We shan't be late. Harriet! All right, I'm coming. Off to bed now. 25 minutes late. I've chickened out. <laughs> right then, Prince. It's just you and me for the secret island. Quick, they're going after all. It's a good job we remembered these blankets. Yeah! Where have you been? That's a long story. This it looks a bit spooky. It's just because it's strange. You'll love it, you'll see. I hope so. It's too late to change our minds now. 